I don't really know the direction of today. This is the result of losing your job because of somebody else's mistakes. I didn't do anything wrong to lose my job. I shouldn't have lost my job, actually. See, I did everything right. I did the responsible thing. I did what my boss actually should have done. I was doing my boss's job, which means I should have actually gotten a promotion. Okay? That didn't happen because I don't know somebody. No, I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time working for somebody else. I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out who the favorites are. I'm not going to waste my time with people that want to dump their negative bullshit off onto me when I have my own problems. I can deal with my own problems. They suck. And it's nice getting help sometimes with these problems that I didn't create, by the way. Uh, you know, I'm just dealing with the consequences of somebody else's problems right now. What's happening is... I am dealing with the consequences of somebody else's problem. These aren't, these aren't actually my problems. This isn't right now, the life that I'm living, this is a swap. This is a life swap here. See, I'm being forced to deal with the consequences of somebody else's fucking problems because I wasn't the favorite. Okay. So... Nobody's going to make me feel like I got to go rushing around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to find another job. For what? Why? For this? So I can bust my ass? To get where? To get where? For what reason? To end up in a place like this? Is that why I go to work? Is that why the fuck I go to work? I go to work so that one day, if I work hard enough, I can have zero dollars in my pocket and no home. That's why I go to work. Well, then no thanks. I will start my own system. I will start my own business. And I will answer only to God. It's going to be the last vlog on the deck. We're going to go over the spot like we used to. My mom's about to be here, so I have to keep her on her leash. I don't want her running out. I'm going to get a couple of my possessions. And I'm never going to come back here ever again. I don't think this is even real wood. This isn't real wood. <laughs> this is not real wood. It makes it easy to cut, at least. Hi. It's nice to see you guys again. Stop interrupting me. Shut up. Thank you all for shenanigans. The shenanigans need to stop.
Let's 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 do some guitar work here, okay? But when you buy fret wire, it's it's you don't buy frets like that. You have to cut the frets to size. These are pre-cut because I cannibalized these from a previous build that I did a few years ago. I have like no fucking glue left. Fucking shit. Uh, the only thing that I'm accomplishing is 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 I'm making a mess. I don't want to have to fucking drill a hole through this and secure it with screws. I don't want to do that. This looks like shit. Might have to. Maybe if I just sort of cure for a little bit. It's still sliding around. I probably have to use a screw. Son of a bitch. Please, Lord. Please, Lord, help me. Jesus, please help. I'm getting mad. I'm getting so mad. I need your help. I need you to help me. I'm so pissed off. Okay. I need to stop. Because I have very little glue. And I need to figure something out. that baby i came out here and i didn't hear god that's a miracle mexico and i are eating thanksgiving dinner myself stranded the past three days. Becca, I believe her name was Becca, thank you. Becca and her son. Becca and her son. Help me. They jumped my car. 
They gave me gas and they also gave me ten dollars. I stopped down at a turkey hill. And my aunt and my uncle, they found me there and they provided me with Thanksgiving dinner and I also need to thank them, not just for that, but they got my gas tank half full.